red shirt, Tommy Doherty, who walks out at Wembley today for the eighth time, knowing that he hasn't won on any of the previous seven occasions. So quite a contrast between the two managers. Brian Greenoff just walking through there, the substitute David McCreary at the back of the Manchester United line. Mark Matthews and his two officials, and any moment now, the players will be greeted by this vast and expectant crowd. Tommy Doherty's mind he came here four times with Scotland as a player lost three and drew one he came here as a player in the cup final with Preston in 54 and lost and this is his third FA Cup final as a manager United players walking through Stuart Pearson, Gordon Hill young Arthur Alviston Jimmy Greenock and his brother Brian right behind him This is the supporters' final because either one of these famous clubs could have filled Wembley with just their own following. Manchester United playing in the same direction, left to right, as they did in the first half last year against Southampton. This is Koppel. And again, it's Makari. Dermot. Now Makari for United. McElroy's pushed forward. He got a second chance with that and he found Hill. Pearson's going to the near post. It was awkward for Clements. You never quite know what Gordon Hill's going to do. Pearson went towards the near post for a short one and Hill curled it. Clements giving away the corner. Smith went early, but and missed it, and McElroy is away. Jimmy Green off his square, so is Pearson. Here's Pearson. Smith really gave that away and McElroy looked up, picked out Pearson who couldn't quite get the shot in that he wanted. Not a good clearance from Hill. So here's McDermott. Well played for Case. Kennedy! Stepney saved it. Jimmy Case, a lovely cross with the left foot. Kennedy came in on the header and Stepney's right foot turned that round for a corner. Surely the nearest we've been to a goal in the first half of the cup final. And a warning to United as Kennedy came in there behind Jimmy Nicholl. Here's Alberston. That's a fine run. Jimmy Green up in the middle, so too is Pearson. What a pity that Alderston couldn't have just kept his composure at the end of that run because it was a marvellous interception and a fine piece of spirited attacking by a young man of 19 playing in his first match at this level. There's Jimmy Greenoff's header on for Pearson. A chance on here. And Pearson is the scorer. mistake from Keegan who gave the ball away then Jimmy Greenoff with an astute flick and look how well Pearson kept cool here right inside the near post and Manchester United take the lead thanks to their tandem up front and Pearson found a gap inside the near post of the England goalkeeper reminiscent perhaps of the goal that Highway scored against Arsenal in 71 he found a gap in an unusual place Manchester United have scored early in the second half. McDermott for Liverpool. And there's a saying in football that Liverpool are at their most dangerous when they're behind. That remains to be seen. Jones. 
Case. Good turn. Oh, yes. A brilliant goal by Jimmy Case. Just two minutes after Liverpool had gone behind. Case playing in his first FA Cup final. Turned magnificently. A right foot drive right in the corner. And this Cup final now has exploded into the sort of match that we all hoped it would be. Stepney got a hand to that but couldn't stop it. So with 53 minutes gone, it's one all. Tremendous for the crowd, especially the neutrals, that the match should have opened up in quite that way with two goals in two minutes. On by Makari. Smith slips slightly. Jimmy Green off. And has it got in by Makari, is it? Lou Makari got in. And United are back in front. Tommy Smith got himself into a bit of a tangle with Jimmy Greenock. He seemed to have got the ball away, but he hadn't. And Makari, possibly off Greenock in, in the end. Makari had the shot, it probably deflected off his own player. Anyway, it's in the net, and Manchester United are 2 1 up. Just look at those Manchester United supporters. So disappointed here 12 months ago when they lost to Southampton, but now they can see. The FA Cup beckoning. His case. Keegan. McDermott. Case going in. Well, he's looking their most potent attacker without any doubt at all, Jimmy Case. Those supporters very, very happy with life. Here's Neil. Buchan and Keegan both missed it off. Brian Greenoff said it was. Made to look very comfortable by Stepney, but Greenoff no doubt relieved. Stepney's handling, in fact, in this final has been extremely good. Thirteen minutes to go, and Manchester United leading 2-1. Which for them is a popular score in the FA Cup this season. They won the semi-final, the sixth round and the fifth round replay by that scoreline. But here's McDermott for Liverpool. Keegan, good play, Case. Made room for the shot. And a good match, Jimmy Case. Bob Paisley looking anxious there, as well he might, the double and the treble might disappear, although he manages a smile to uh, Tommy Kavanagh. Highway. This lad really has had a marvellous match. And the 11 being held aloft. But before he can get off, that was Case in there, and Keegan almost made it. The first sign of a mistake there by Stepney. Jimmy Case who turned, it wasn't a hard shot, but Stepney almost lost it. And was glad of the second chance as Keegan came in. United still want to make their substitution, but Liverpool denying them the time to do so. They can now, surely. And for the second year running, Gordon Hill is going to be taken off. And for the second year in succession, his replacement will be number 12, David McCreary. Jimmy. I don't know why the, some of the Manchester United fans are disapproving of that. Gordon Hill has had uh, very little effect on this match so far. And his inclination to throw the ball away needlessly, you could give Liverpool just the chance they need. The atmosphere inside Wembley, every bit as good 
as it was at the start, and here's Kennedy for Liverpool. So close, and still Liverpool won't let go. Kennedy somehow found her way through, and the shot just caught the crossbar as it went over. Kennedy for Liverpool. And there it is. Manchester United have won the FA Cup. The managers congratulating one another. 12 months after losing here, Tommy Doherty is at last a winner. Tremendous moment for these young Manchester United players who walked off Wembley in tears, one or two of them. Brian Green off among them last May when they lost to Southampton but now it's all smiles and celebrations Emlyn Hughes the first to go up and congratulate the opposition Alex Stepney raising his arms he's got a cup winner's medal at last and Tommy Doherty the manager who one or two people rather cruelly said was the most successful failure in football has today proved them wrong 74 teams started off in the FA Cup last September and this is the moment that every one of them in their dreams were thinking about the moment when the trophy is presented to the winning team the winning captain Martin Buchan of Manchester United to receive the FA Cup from Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Kent